everyone, Maggie B for Apps for iPads here today with a video review of the new internet video to television solution called PlayOn. Media Mall Technologies released this just yesterday and I have just finished downloading it onto my PC. As you can see, it's already been downloaded here. I have set it up. You just follow Click on it, follow it step by step. It's really very simple to do. Um, what happens once it is enabled is you will get this dialog box that you see on my screen. It is the play on settings that you're going to want to set up on your PC prior to moving over to your iPad so that you can play the media, streaming video, music on your iPad through play on. The first tab is a general settings. You will see that uh, you can submit a help request here. You can um, do the video performance, media processing. I'm just going to leave everything as default. It doesn't seem any reason to be changing any of this. There are parental controls, but I don't have any children in the household, so I'm not enabling that. Moving on to the next tab is a systems check. Um, the online bandwidth, you can do a test. Mine came out as fine. My um, CPU performance showed as low, but it's not really making a difference, so I'm not going to worry about it. Shows you how much disk space and memory you're going to need on your PC to get everything up and going. Um, I check to have software updates come to me automatically. I'm running my Windows Fire uh, Firewall, so I have that enabled. Moving on, these are the channels that you can um, put into your Play On so that you can access them on your iPad. There's Netflix, Hulu, um, Amazon, um, Major League Baseball, if you have a um, subscription, Pandora, which I have put into mine, uh, my YouTube. Then there's a lot of them that are just enabled that you don't need to sign up for. If, as long as it's checkmarked over here, you're fine. My granddaughter would be thrilled to see the pbskids.org. Um, then we have plugins. It says that there's no plugins found. I'm not familiar with which plugins that we might want, uh, but there is a learn more link right below that, so we can always check that out. My media, um, that's for if you have videos on your desktop that you want to import in, you just do that right through here. Mobile access. Now, you're going to see a big red failed here. I actually stopped the video at the time and I went to my iPad, like it says on here, and I browsed to the m.playon.tv on my iPad and set it up, um, enabled the mobile access and ran a test. It said that it failed. It didn't. Go, make sure you go back and check your iPad right away because mine was working even though it said it failed. Social network, you can enable it for um, people to know what you're what you're watching, if you're on Twitter or Facebook. I did set them up to see how they would be um, for you to do. It was very simple. It's just a dialog box that um, pops up as usual and you just allow it to gain access to your Twitter or Facebook account. Um, there is also um, a MySpace, although I don't use that anymore, so I didn't bother with it. Um, then what you do is you select the channels to include in your status update. I don't know that I want people to know what I'm watching all the time, but I wanted you to know it was available. There is a registration tab. I have not filled mine out because I am in the free 14-day trial. It will tell me how many days I have left. It did not ask me for a credit card or anything going in. So this is a totally free trial that you can feel very confident in setting up yourself and trying on your PC and your iPad. So that's it. I just clicked OK and it was it's all done. Um, come back for the next video where we're going to look at it on the iPad. Maggie B for Apps for iPad. See you tomorrow.